Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Zoo Exhibit Tours. Today we are back at Yorkshire Wildlife Park and we will be touring one of their newest attractions, Experience Ethiopia. This African themed attraction opened earlier this year along with the Himalayan Pass, which I toured last month. Experience Ethiopia is split into two sections and is home to some unique species that aren't your typical African animal. So without any further ado, let's begin the tour. After walking across the long bridge, you are immediately met with the entrance to Experience Ethiopia. To the left of the entrance is the first reserve, Hyenas of Harar. This large reserve is home to a group of rare spotted hyenas. Yorkshire Wildlife Park is just one of three zoos in the UK to house these animals, with the other two being Colchester Zoo and Longleat Safari Park. The hyena reserve is very natural and has varied terrain. It features lots of foliage, a large cave, and a pool of water that circles the front side of it. Yorkshire Wildlife Park's two adult hyenas arrived earlier this year. Granada, the female, arrived from a zoo in Spain to join Speedy, the male. It was hoped that they would breed and have pups in the future, and that is exactly what they did. Two pups were born in September 2020. I had the privilege to visit them last week, and here are some of the photos that I took. As you can see, the pups are born with dark brown fur which helps them to camouflage and hide from predators. Recently, the pups have started to explore outside of their burrow, which their mother actually dug out for them. Granada is a fantastic mother who is very attentive and protective of her pups. This is her first litter and it is fantastic that both pups have survived. This is because 90% of hyenas actually eat their first litter of pups. As it stands, the zoo hasn't announced the genders of the pups, but I believe that one pup is a male and that the other is a female. Speedy, the father of the pups, keeps a watchful eye over them from a distance. He gets on very well with Granada, but will be chased off if he gets too close to her babies. Speedy is the most photogenic and beautiful hyena that I've ever seen. You are able to view the front and right side of the hyena exhibit which allows you to see most of it. However, the hyenas do have multiple hiding spots where they can escape the public view, including a second small outdoor enclosure and an indoor house. Now, on the right side of the Experience Ethiopia entrance is the second part of the exhibit. Welcome to the Simeon Mountains. This multi-leveled enclosure is home to a large troop of Gelada baboons. It features multiple climbing structures, foliage, rocks and two caves. In my opinion, this replicates the baboons' wild, mountainous environment really well. You are able to view this exhibit from almost all sides and the path takes you round to the other side of it. What you are looking at now is the front side of the enclosure, so let's move on and see what's behind these hills. Before seeing the next part of the Simeon Mountains exhibit, you are met with a play area and a place to get some snacks and refreshments. Then the path takes you right to the other side of the hills in the Simeon Mountain exhibit. This is the side where the baboons tend to rest, and from my experience, they spend more time on this side. And that is everything about Experience Ethiopia. I really hope that you have enjoyed this episode of Zoo Exhibit Tours. Comment down below what UK zoo exhibit you want me to tour next. Thank you for watching.